What's up everybody out there on YouTube? This is me, Stun064. I know it's been a minute and... I don't even care. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, this is supposed to be like the biggest update that I've ever given you guys and I don't know how long. Um, I'm not ungrateful. I want to start off and say I'm very grateful, but there's just so much that's been happening that has horribly pissed me off to the point where most of you guys don't even really matter to me. Most. But all of my subscribers know I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, so let's start things off and talk about this update. This update is because, for one, I've been away from YouTube for so long. I think it's been exactly three months. And, no, it ain't been three months. It's been like two months. I've been working. But as I've been working, I've also been watching YouTube because I like YouTube. I mean, I like seeing what interesting decks come out. Uh, what's the new catchphrase? Uh, you know, shit like that. But I noticed that somebody on YouTube, Underworld, something, 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 posted up a YouTube award. I'm going to stop right there. The reason why I'm so pissed is because he did not come up with the YouTube award. Vexus did not come up with, or no, not Vexus, but BTRFS did not come up with the YouTube award. And he's a good guy, but he didn't come up with it. It originated from Robbie Cole. Because at one point, I wanted to do a YouTube award similar to the exact way that they did it, but only one thing that I was going to do that they didn't do um, in the YouTube award that actually did happen. They didn't give you people the control to actually vote on who would get what. I didn't like that at all. Um, what else that I didn't like about it? For one, commercials, they were funny. They were very, very funny. For two... The sexy award. I'm sorry. This is Yu-Gi-Oh. This is not a pageant. I don't believe that someone should get a fucking award for being pretty or sexy or the most handsome male. I came to play cards with your ass, not to sit here and let you brush my hair. Sorry, bro. Don't go down that way. Um, if you really want to give an award, I think you should have really given an award to like the best duelist. That was one nominee I didn't really see. Because there's a lot of YCSs, and no one ever gives credit to these people that actually participate in Top 32 over and over and over again. Billy Brake, for example, good player. He's tried several times with Ed Sabres, and then he's left it alone and went straight to plants. Two times in a row, he gets fucking first place. No one mentioned that at a fucking Yu-Gi-Tube award? Really? What is this? You guys are watching Yu-Gi-Tube for Yu-Gi-Oh! News, right? Right? That's news. Uh, okay, who else do we got here? Um, Robbie Cole. Apparently he's a douche. Robbie Cole is not a douche. I don't know if I saw this on a previous video from someone's uh, reaction to the new uh, YouTube award, but Robbie Cole is beyond a shot of a doubt not a douche. I met him in person several times, and he's actually cool as fuck. Yeah, he is. He's Robbie, you know, but he's not a douche. Um, Del Bolito, good duelist. Alex Thunderpants, really? No one likes his videos. Fuck all y'all. I don't care. Alex, you're my boy. Roy St. Clair, good duelist and a good, I don't know, deck builder. I come to him with most of my advice when I ever want to play something. If you don't know what to play, go talk to any one of these duelists. They're not assholes. I swear, they will comment back and they will actually tell you what's a legit deck that's cheap, affordable, expensive, it doesn't matter. Something that you would want to play, they would help you with that. They're not assholes. Any of these guys I just named off will help you. I don't know if they want to help you start a channel or anything like that, but yeah. Um, let's talk about the band list. Band list. This is my list. This is just my thing that I'm thinking at the moment. I told you this update was big. There's a lot of stuff. Um, band. Sangin, Rescue Rabbit, BLS, Future Fusion. My reason? All that shit is crazy. Limited to one. Tsukiyomi and a lot of wind up shit. <sighs> Semi limited. Mystical Space Typhoon, Grappa, Tengu, or Tour Guide, not both of them, not both of them, just one, one or the other, and Book of Moon, and Unlimited, Kalut the motherfucking Moon Shadow, that's all I gotta say, because my list, put Kalut back to three, then I go back and play Blackpoint, do what I wanna do, but that last one ain't gonna never happen, I mean, most of this shit is actually legit, uh, except for Rescue Rabbit, Rescue Rabbit was actually supposed to be Unlimited, uh, putting his ass at one, I, don't, I think I only banned him just because I I thought it'd be funny to ban him since they banned Risky Cat. Anyway, uh, upcoming YCS. 
talk about that. Shit is going to be going down all motherfucking day. And I'm going to do what I do best. All um, day. If you don't know what this means, this is a catchphrase. It says, I be C. I bake cakes. Alright. So, I'm playing at the YCS. I know a lot of other people going to be at the YCS. Team Chat going to be at YCS. Question is, what do you guys think is actually going to win? There's a lot of speculation on what may may not actually do well. But uh, this was my list. Again, just like the band list, this is mine. I don't care if you comment and have your little inputs, but this is mine. Insectors, windups, windups smash with something, or insectors smashed up with something. Sam's, and I did not vote Sam's just because they won Mexico. I've actually been playtesting this deck and for maybe like two and a half months. Um, I got the deck idea from Jake Hart, who I think top eight at a regional a very, very long time ago. The fact is that he played Reckless Freeze and a lot of draw power shit that really made the deck fun and consistent. And I put it away, but I rebuilt it on Dual Network just to see how it would do. And it's really, really good. So, Jake Hart's build, I think if they actually played it, that would be great. Um, Dino Rabbit, duh. And Dark Worlds. A lot of people give Dark Worlds a lot of shit, but I think it's not bad. Truthfully. Um, so now, after all of that, last update, what is going to happen with you guys and me? Sun Zero Six Four. Um, motherfucker, I'm back. <sighs> I feel good. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on in my life. Can't make up any excuse excuses, and I won't. Um, what I will do is, I am at 657 subscribers right now, and I would like to thank every last one of you, but since I don't have the free time to actually do that, I'll just thank you all right now, and for my subscribers yet to come, who will be coming soon, a mysterious number, uh, when you subscribe to me, I will randomly pick when they subscribe. I will be giving away something near and dear to me, to my very, very heart and soul. I didn't know if I wanted to give away my black robe, if I wanted to give away something else, but a lot of people keep commenting on this, and I think it's about time for me to upgrade anyway. So, here I have a custom-made Hollister playmat. It's sick. But, what's so special about it is that all of my friends, all the YouTubers, who actually signed off on this, like Alex Thunderpants, yay, Billy Brake, uh, Robbie Cole, Jarrell Pro Winston, Asian Persuasion, just every YouTuber's name is on this playmat pretty much. Uh, I don't think 87 Show Muff signed it, but I don't know, I'll give him a sign. Anyway, so I am giving away this custom playmat that I drew to a random YouTuber that has subscribed to me, or that will subscribe to me in the near future, because I have no way of pinpointing exactly what number you guys subscribe to me, but the YouTuber that subscribed to me later on will get this playmat. I don't know if it's going to be like 700, 750, 725, but the YouTuber that subscribes will have this nice playmat. So, um, last but not least, shout out. Um, shout out to Bexus, um, Bexus Kids 4666. Who's John Gill? I don't know who he is, but shout out to him. 87 Show Enough. Uh, Fire Twin, aka Lord Solar. 6G75. Man, just call him Fire Twin and Spoofy. Sorry about the hit. Sorry to hear what happened, Spoofy, with you and your lady friend. I hope all is well. I hope you're able to make it to the YCS. Uh, hit me up, bro. You got me on Xbox Live. You have my Facebook, my phone number. I'm not trying to sound too desperate. You anyway, know, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I gotta say. Hope this update was very nice. Um, it's me again, Sunday 64. I'm out. Later, guys. Peace.